We've been working with promoting circulation, so it becomes useful to talk about the stress tension cycle. Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Minky. This is Minky Wellness. As we look at circulation, we've been looking at a number of different things, metabolic factors, uh, how our digestion, what kind of foods we eat, uh, junk that can get in the bloodstream, things that affect uh, the quality of our blood. You know, so all this has been part of our package for circulation. But today we're going to come back and talk at, about the, just the physical, mechanical elements of circulation. We have got to, in our Flood the Body with Nutrients part of our wellness program or wellness strategy, we've got to get that blood delivered through the tissue and tension, just strictly, you know, talking about physical tension, can have a dramatic impact on how much circulation we get, not only blood flow, but lymph uh, return. So in both lymph and uh, blood, you know, huge impact for, uh, for tension in the body. So let's look at what we can do uh, about tension. Now, if you haven't gone back, if, if you're coming in new or catching just bits and pieces, I've done some videos in the past on how we sit and how we move and, and, and did that for the respiratory system. So I highly recommend going back and looking at the respiratory system and opening up the chest and shoulders and all that because that's going to be uh, important. But overall, let's look at, you know, take a step back from that even and look at, at stress and tension and how these things can impact our circulation. Uh, so one of the things that happens is we want to be fit, right? And so those of us who want to go and work out and they want to do something uh, to, to improve our cardiovascular, you know, you do your cardio. And so that's all there to promote good circulation. And then for in general, that, that's, that's good and that works. But if we're cranking up our body with certain movements and patterns and we're all tight, then that is actually restricting blood flow into the tissues that we're really trying to get activated, the muscles and the joints, and we're trying to get all those healthy. So it becomes really important that tension isn't something we're after. We're not trying to get more tension, you know, and get all and get all tight. We want to stay loose. We want to build our muscles. We want to work our body, but we don't want to remain tight. So it's really important that by the end of the day or after our workout that we loosen up. And here's where massage can be really good. Breathing can be really good. Relaxing, getting the mind to let go of the any of the tension and stress that's built up. So, the, but that's that's workout stuff, and and that's kind of easy to understand where that can come from. We can get other tension from stress. Okay, now if you're not working out, you're going to be more stressed. In other words, stress uh, or working out, exercise reduces stress. So one of the benefits of exercise in general is you're going to have less stress. So let's let's make sure that, you know, if we start there, we say, okay, yes, we're going to do our exercise and we're going to have less stress in our lives. But we also want to make sure that that exercise doesn't create tension because then, you know, we're adding to that. But so that's the ideal is as be athletic, be fit and be loose. OK, just kind of stay, stay mobile. Now we go down from there and say, well, if we're not exercising, um, we're probably more stressed or if we, you know, it, it, stress is a big factor. And boy, stress can really crank up tension in, in, a, in unfortunate ways from a standpoint. Of we don't even recognize where it is. A lot of gritting our teeth and a lot of, a lot of tension and, and uh, stuff that comes up in the neck, which of course can affect the thyroid, which we've talked about, can affect metabolism. Um, you know, if we're all, all tight, it affects our breathing, which, you know, as we know, is going to affect our metabolism and our blood flow. You know, so we've got so many factors that kind of, you know, uh, stack up when we talk about tension and stress. Okay, so getting regular massage. I'm still going to plug again for for all, for us to all get some kind of regular massage. Uh, you know, professional, you know, or paraprofessional. Your, your spouse, if you're trading, you know, doing some a little bit of massage that's not related to bedroom activity, uh, and and get some good relaxation. Get the shoulders to to work out. Get the legs to relax. You know, some little bit of massage. You know, we do that for our kids. That you know, some of us do that, and it's so good for their stress to to just be able to just do a little rubbing. Uh, you know, old old fashioned rub down. You know, just it doesn't. It's not rocket science. It doesn't uh, have to be a long a period of time. Fifteen minute little, you know, doing some some massage type stuff. Um, and so there, there's, 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 it's reasonable and, and not that hard to do to get weekly, you know, if you're doing family, weekly or certainly monthly massage, if you're just doing little, little 15 minutes. But, but it is good to get a professional massage once a month. 
uh, I know, you know, we're all, we're all fitting all this stuff into our budgets, but it's a professional massage of some kind once a month so that to really get that opportunity to really practice letting go. It becomes a, a skill. It is a skill to practice letting go, to be able to release the tension, to let go of, of the structural tension. Now, a lot of times, once it, gets, once it gets to structural tension, you can't let it go on your own. You have to stretch it, or a massage therapist has to stretch it at the, at the fingertips. Now, I'm gonna refer you to my uh, you know, biologic, biology of, of massage. I did a video, uh, maybe I'll put a link there. Um, of biology of massage and, and how that works and the stretch and, and the hydration and everything that happens. So there are some times when you can't do it on your own. You need that external force to, to be put in there and to get that tissue to stretch out. But once you start to relax it, you can decide on whether you accumulate it or not. Or not. And so once it's let go, you can maintain it a lot easier. So that's why I'm advocating getting some professional help. Get the body to let go and open up. You'd be amazed at how it takes the years off of you from a standpoint of feeling, again, more fluid, more mobile, more flexible. Have you heard of the sense of someone becoming inflexible as they get older? Uh, we get stiff-necked. We have a stiff-necked people, right? You know, you've heard these terms. And, and we kind of equate these to emotional or spiritual positions, but that absolutely can connect right back to the body. If my body doesn't move very well, then I have restricted in my opportunities and my, and my options, and that affects how I think about the world and definitely feeds the stress forward. Uh, I really, really want to be one of those people that, that stress is leaving me, uh, you know, I mean, that, that I'm not accumulating, that I'm, I'm putting out in the field peace and, and, and goodness rather than stress and tension. So, uh, and, and I don't know if you've ever had that feeling, you sit next to someone and they can, you can feel <laughs> that they are tight you know, and you can feel that. And so it's one of those things that I, again, I want to be someone that, that when you sit next to me, you can, you can feel my movement, you know, that there's, you know, I'm not stuck in one place. Uh, and, and that if you talk to me, you're going to bounce against some kind of rigid barrier, uh, you know, that it's a little bit more fluid and, and welcoming. Uh, so, and then it works for our own, our own thought process. So anyway, there's a spiritual kind of, of, connection to what I'm talking about here. So stress, I go back to our stress and stress and tension. So grinding the teeth, and I'll talk a little bit more about this uh, in, in the digestion, but you can end up grinding your teeth because you have poor digestion and the, 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 the pressure on the molars is, is the, so a lot of times we can be that, you know, we can be accumulating tension because of our physiology, but we also can accumulate tension because of how we think. And that becomes an opportunity for us to retool consciously, we participate consciously in our stress responses. Uh, and, and I've talked a fair amount of that, uh, you know, as we've gone along here, but we're gonna kind of, let's do a little bit of breathing here for our stress response and and see how we can you know learn to let go of these things so if you haven't done a relaxation uh, physical relaxation breathing sequence um, i'm going to go through one of those here and obviously you know driving this is not the best time to do this so kind of if you're, if you're in the middle of driving kind of be aware of that you know this is not one of those times to get all loosey-goosey relaxed but um, when you go to bed you can you can once you you know kind of understand how this works but it's i've had it uh it described as you start on your toes and move up you can start at your head and move down you can start in your middle, move out. It doesn't really matter. I kind of prefer to, um, I think I prefer the toes, you know, starting down at the feet. So I would breathe in and connect to my feet and then with the exhale, let the feet relax and then go down and, and reach to the ankles and then exhale, let the ankles relax. And, and you can sort of see that I have a little bit of movement. If I'm lying in bed, I would do the same thing. Just kind of settle, little shake, little movement, allow my body to settle. And so breathe in to the, to the shins and calves. And that, again, what I, I mean, you're starting to get better at this, I'm assuming, because so you, you, I'm, I'm breathing in and I'm connecting to the tension and listening all at one time, and then I'm so that listening breath is just the feeling that the tension that might be hold, holding in my legs, and then whew, relax. And as I as I breathe out, I'm just going to let go and let feeling that that tension come up and out through the breath, and then uh, do the knees, whew, relax the thighs. 
and keep in mind that, you know, and, and again, if I were lying down, it's a little different relationship with your body. I don't know if you can tell, you can already feel in my voice or tell in my voice that I'm already starting to be a little looser, a little slower, um, and, and that's part of what we're doing is at the end of the day, we don't, we, we want to let go of some of this tension and get good at relaxing and letting go. If you're in the midst of a stressor, like right at the moment, it really is, this is great to take a deep breath, accumulate that, that whatever that stress is, let it go, breathe in love to fill that space and joy and circulation and let go. Now, what if you had an accident or impact where you you know the body responds by protecting? There's a stressor, okay? So different kinds of stress. Physical stress, the body's going to respond by holding and protecting. And again, it can be for the most part it can be useful to try to let go of as much as that of that tension as possible. Um, you know, even even right there at the moment of an injury. So, because um, that can create, trap the swelling and things like that. So if I had an injury to my knee or, or just an example of fell, and I would then, you know, at, I pause in that moment where I'm, I'm, you know, obviously it hurts, it's pain or whatnot, I would breathe in to the area and then relax and try to consciously, literally consciously relax my tissue. Okay, so I, I got to the legs here before I distracted myself. Exhale, so into the hips. And then now into the abdomen. And relaxing the organs. And as the exhale comes out, you can feel the, the stress leaving and the relax relaxation coming in. As the organs start to move, and that feels so much better. And then chest, rib cage, chest, and then shoulders arms so now i'm gonna let my arms go and just relax my fingers and hands we get on the exhale and just letting that tension let go an arm forearms elbows and upper arms now up to the neck breathe into the neck Letting go, head, eyebrows, letting go. So the tension, just exhaling every exhale, letting go of some of that tension. Now, now that I've gotten a little bit of relaxation going and I've got, now I want to uh, really feel that circulation and encourage that because I've made, I've got the relaxation, but I don't necessarily have the necessarily have the blood, uh, you know, moving through. So I really want to take another couple more breaths and send fluid, send push the fluid out, move the circulation all the way to the toes and the fingers, and that that would be, uh, especially if I were needing to, if I were doing this as just a break and I was going back to my day. I, I would would really want to get back to being sort of activated and so I breathe in and, and maybe even do that energetic breathing where I'm getting the thyroid and the metabolism and feeling more heated up. If I'm doing this before bed, um, I might, you know, breathe in the calm and so I would say, okay, I'm going to breathe in exactly the perfect energy that my brain needs to process the day's stressor. So I'm going to breathe in that, the the the, the processing power and have that soak into my brain. And then I feel just the letting go. And with every letting go, I'm gonna encourage that fluid to flow and move through and not, not let anything be stuck, okay? I really want that energetic feeling of movement and free flowing so that I could go back with a listening breath if I really felt like there was something that was attracting my attention or it's really stuck there in the, in the thigh or the knee or whatever. I could go back with a listening breath and then focus on that. So one or two breaths to get the whole body connected. And then if I had some leftover stuff, I might go in and target that. So that's kind of what we're talking about here, the stress tension cycle uh, and using breath to make, that, to, to make that connection. You can get some massage, use physical work, you can stretch, you can breathe, you can do any number of things, but really get good at relaxing physically so that you get better circulation. And so that's all part of our overall wellness, okay? So happy wellness. We'll work some more tomorrow. We're going to continue finishing out the rest of the week with blood and lymph. Happy wellness.